I'm Gary Frisvold. I operate the, this ranch with my brother Don. We uh, do a cow-calf operation, put up hay, spend all summer putting up hay so we can feed it to the cows during all winter. Family operation. My son, he works with us. I'd say about 330 cows and, and we have uh, 90 head of sheep. Well, I'm Jason Lutz. I have about 2,200 acres and I run about 450 cows farm about 600 acres with my dad and brother-in-law. Born and raised here, four generation, and we're about three miles south of Lemon, and we're looking at the aftermath of the fire. I seen the fire when I was coming up, and I looked and I thought it was clouds at first, and I go, that's not clouds, that's smoke. And I called my neighbor Jason and see how things were going out there. I said, well, we might as well go out there and see if I can help him do anything. And I got down there and he said he was gonna get burned out. The wind was terrible. 30 to 40 sustained, 50 to 60 gusts. It just took off. I don't think if you had a good saddle horse, you could outrun it. A friend of mine that called and he says, man, there's a fire somewhere. I was like, well, I can't see nothing. Well, then my mom called, my folks live in town, and she said the fire whistle went off about 4.30 Thursday. And so then I went outside and it's like, whoa, I hope that don't come here, which was way up into North Dakota. By 5.04, when we left the place here, the fire was in our yard. So it got here in a little over half an hour. When I got down here, I went and started up this uh, this tractor that I just got, hadn't run it before. When we were hooking up the disc, a wildlife officer come in here, he told us, you guys are gonna get burned out. The fire department is gonna make a stand up at the highway and I could come and help them, um, you know, disc along that. And I told him I was gonna go back and see what I could do there first. And I headed towards the fire and the fire was already coming through my property. And it was moving faster than the tractor was. It moved probably two minutes to go, half mile. There wasn't no time. It was here that fast. It looked like a 40-foot wall of fire coming right to us. Just grab what you can and get in the vehicle and go. When we left, I thought that's the last time we're going to see it. 23 fire departments come in here, and uh, some of them were probably two hours away, and it helped having all those fire departments here. I thought I'd jump the highway, and I talked to one of the firemen, and I go, uh, where do I have to go disc next? And he said, we got it stopped, and that was, a, that was a big relief. The fire got diverted enough where it saved my hay, kept the cows from being in a lot of smoke, saved their health too. I figure eight miles of fencing was in the fire. One guy had to shoot some of his cattle, and he might have to shoot some more. Burned all my tree rows out, multiple fence posts in the fence. Took about 12 to 1500 hay bales. Took my semi. I had most of my cows across the highway, but no structures were lost and the house was still standing, so it could have been worse. The biggest concern is I lost all my pasture for grazing and for calving. All my calving pastures are burnt black, so I can't calve on them. I've got to do something different. I'm just lucky I got another set of Krells just up the road here where we unloaded the hay today. John Lopez, he's the chamber president for Lemon, was in contact with Farm Rescue. I heard about Farm Rescue quite a few years ago and you help people who uh, you know, get hurt or have heart attacks and uh, I know you do the planning operations and combining. It's a great organization for helping people. A few years ago, you put some crop in for my neighbor over the hill, Joe Zork people just coming together and in time and crisis and helping each other out. That's what it's all about. Just been overwhelming. People wanting to help and do things is just crazy. It's uh, much appreciated. It looks like a nice load of hay um, for here. It could feed the heifers probably for 15 days. It means at least another three days worth of feed, depending how long you have to feed before this all black dirt turns back to green. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. And if I ever need to return the favor, don't be afraid to call. It's appreciated a lot and I thank you guys for all you've um, done.